start. A lot of people thought this could be a year for the changing of the guards. But if Eastern is going to accomplish that, they have to prove it here on Township's home court. Yeah, Washington Township is going to be a tough team to beat. In fact, Ed, Eastern lost two games in the division last year. I'll give you a guess who they lost to, Washington Township. This game has been on Eastern's schedule since last year. They've been looking at this one as soon as the season ended. This is the one that puts Eastern on the map tonight if they can beat the Lady Minute Maids. Eastern, of course, is a team that only lost to Township by 10 points last year. They played those Minute Maid stuff last year. This year, you go into this game, a lot of people think this is Eastern's year, but this is a very dangerous team to count out. Washington Township, of course, has the great uh, tradition here. And from what we've seen early on, uh, although this is a young team, there's still a lot of talent here, and this team is still the team to beat until further notice. And Washington Township has a very competitive team. The difference between this year and last year is they don't have the big score that they had last year. Last year, they had three or four scores. This year, they need somebody to step it up. A very competitive team. It should be a close game, but on paper, you have to give a slight edge to Eastern. They have an out two outstanding players in their team, Ed, in Bolger and Frazier. Frazier's the young lady that makes the team go, the point guard. She's the young lady that the Minimates have to stop. Well, Washington Township has won 63 straight conference games. Number 64 might be the toughest, but it's going to be a great ball game. Washington Township and Eastern coming up next. If that gentleman looks familiar, that is Ron Jaworski. And yes, if that other name, Jessica Jaworski, sounded familiar, that is Ron's daughter. She plays for Eastern. This is a big game for the Lady Vikings. We mentioned the importance of Miss Frazier. Ed, last year she missed their first four games. They went one and three. When she came back, they were 18 and four. She makes the Lady Vikings go. Now the home team, Ed, the Minute Maids. Of course, Washington Township has juggled their lineup throughout the year as far as starters, so we'll see who Washington Township sends out there. Eileen Battelise introduced as one starter. She has shot very well for this ball club early on. Jamie Tennyson, of course, as we mentioned, hit a game-winning basket against Cherry Hill East. They were down with 1.2 seconds to go, was Township. They were down 34-33, and she had a three-pointer to give Township the victory and keep that conference streak intact. The other forwards introduced. Megan Kiesel will be at one forward. Jen Still will also be in the front court. And one of the guard for Washington Township. It'll be number 44, Ann Blank, who's also shot very well from the outside. And as Ed mentioned, coming into this game, they have won 63 games in a row in the division. Their last loss was on February 28, 1991. They lost to Penn Saucon, so it's been a long time, Ed. That is an amazing streak, no matter what kind of conference, what kind of sport, however you want to look at it, that is a tremendous streak. It is on the line today. I remember being in this gym about 10 years ago, and my father was the head coach at Eastern, lost a couple games by 100-plus points. So <laughs> I really don't know the last time Eastern has beaten Washington Township, but it's been a long long time and they feel like they have a real good chance tonight. Well we know it's been at least over three years at this point. What an amazing streak. 63 games and of course it's not over yet. They, and we talked about this at the top ten. This is what makes Washington Township dangerous. They are a team with a lot of pride when people start to say alright this is the one they're finally going to lose and they come back and beat you. So this is a dangerous dangerous game for Eastern. So the number nine, Eastern Vikings at 6-2 and two versus Washington Township, 5-3. and three. The three losses for Township to Haddonfield, Shawnee, and Williamstown. They'll tip it right in front of us. Good hustling effort right into our camera almost with it was Bolger. So it, Washington Township will take over. She stepped on the end line. Just missed, almost stepped on our table as well. Yeah, we have to lean out a little bit so we can see. And we're set for our first offensive set. Townsend will be in the home white, going from our right to our left, Eastern in the visiting blue. Trying to get it now to Kiesel. Good defense on by Moore. Now settling up is Tennyson. Tennyson with that knee brace, that can't be too easy to play with. Good swing, far side. Kiesel again, almost stolen. We're going to get a foul against Washington Township still. Jennifer's going to pick up her first. And we saw Jen Stirl early in the year against Williamstown. She has to avoid those quick little fouls, the reach-in fouls right there. She saved the lay, she saved the layup, but still, early on, she doesn't want to get into foul trouble. No score. Played about 40 seconds here from Washington Township. There you see Fraser. She's the young lady we were talking about. She'll run the point guard duties. She's having a pretty good season, averaging nearly 20 points a game. 
Razor drives baseline off the glass, no good. They fight for the rebound, back up again, no good. Township comes away with a big rebound by Battle East. Goes out of bounds, it'll stay Minute Maid's ball. The Washington Township again will get set up in their offense. They found a nice little inside-outside combination with someone like Blank outside and people like Still and Kiesel inside, but it'll be very tough against a very aggressive defense from Eastern tonight. Eastern holds back in the zone, looks like a 2-3. So you're going to have to be able to score from the outside. Kiesel. There's a walk. Traveling with it there was Blank, the sophomore. Vikings again, as we mentioned, as Tad mentioned, coming in ranked number nine in South Jersey. Uh, they're a team right now at five and two. Of course, they were upset by Edgewood just this past week. They saw second coach Bolger. Miss Walsh, one of her assistants. No score here. We're still looking for our first bucket. Top of the key now, Bolger. Bolger for three. No good. Big rebound and a nice box out effort by Still. Minute Maids are going to run it up the floor. Still looking for our first bucket. Swing it in the corner. Nice catch right in front of us made by Battleese. Inside for Still. Still is fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. Boy, right, nice job by Still that time. She caught a tough pass. And then when she caught the ball, your first instinct is go up right away. But she was directly under the basket. So she smartly that time took the dribble, got outside and drew the foul. Mavreen Herring is going to pick up the foul. That'll be her first. Jennifer Sill, the senior to the free throw line. Member of the honor roll. Misses her first free throw. And Jen still played very well off the bench in the playoffs last year. So she has as much experience as any member on this team. And we finally get our first point. Township leads it 1-0. Frazier quickly brings it up the floor. Jumper from the outside, hurrying. Doesn't get the shooter's roll. Good rebound by Battle East. 1-0 Township. Five minutes, 40 seconds to play here. First quarter. Get a break there and convert it nicely. Beautiful basket by Kiesel. Not exactly the way they drew it up as Tennyson lost it driving in the lane, but it rolled right to Kiesel. Things rolling the Minute Maids way early on. 3-0 Minute Maids. Still in the first quarter. Good defense for the Minute Maids. Double dribble and a turnover against Sherrill. Boy, an early start for Washington Township, and, and they need a good start in this game because Eastern's coming in today, fired up, thinking this is their moment, this is their time to finally take over the mantle of the Olympic American, and if they get off to a tough start, they're going to be in a hole early. Frazier puts Eastern on the board for their first two. Beautiful steal by Jessica Frazier. Now in the fast break, blank from five feet off the side of the backboard. They get a break as Tennyson grabs the rebound and puts it home. Jamie Tennyson hustling back. Again, she's wearing that knee brace, but she gets back and is in perfect position for the rebound. Frazier will do a good job penetrating, creating opportunities inside. Easy two and a chance for a three-point play. Kristen Sherrill. Well, Tad, it, it's very early in this game with just 4.56 to go in this first quarter, but emotions are running very high early on here. This is going to be a high-intensity game throughout. Jamie Tennyson picks up her first foul, the team's second. Cheryl, the free throw line, that was her first two. She's a sophomore. There you see Coach Costa. It's been a kind of a difficult season. She's not used to the losses. Three points now for Cheryl. So they convert their, their foul shot opportunity. 5-5. Five, five. Inside, nice move, Kiesel. They swing it around. It's a three-point try. Tennyson can't get it to fall. Ripped right out of the hands, brought in by Kiesel. Kiesel now with four. Great effort. Great position by Kiesel. She had the easy two underneath. Very aggressive start by Township. Inside, nice shot. Converted easily by Cyril, who now has five. So many weapons on this Eastern team. It's going to be very tough for Township, and now we see the press. Have somebody open down the other end. They didn't see her. Wide open was Kiesel. Now they get it to Kiesel. But they come back and catch up. Here's a three-point and a foul. The foul against Tennyson. She's going to get to shoot three foul shots now. Well, Jamie Tennyson hit the game-winning three against Cherry Hill East this week. And we're noticing early on, they're trying to get her outside the arc for some open threes. And when we saw Township earlier in the year, we didn't see as many set plays to get a three-point shooter open. That has changed with the way Jamie Tennyson's been shooting. 
Tenderson also a member of the honor roll. That's her third point of the night. Her favorite basketball player, Ed, Bobby Hurley. And she's obviously got to be a big fan of ours, one of her hobbies, watching TV. <laughs> two for two. Yeah, baby. As an excellent form at the free throw line here, and again, her outside presence is, has, has really helped Township over the past couple games. Three for three from the free throw line. She has five. It's a three-point lead for the Minute Maids. Trying to drive baseline, going nowhere as Bolger stolen away. Here comes Tennyson, two on two. We'll see if she wants to go the distance. Gets it, the fall. Tennyson with seven. The switch over to the left hand, a tough shot, and she puts it home. Even more tough, Ed, because she was falling away from the basket as she shot it. Five-point lead, Minute Maids. Defense! 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 That's a two-pointer. Good boom. Bolger, her first two. Almost a three, but her foot was on the line. Here's the press again, and Township once again has an open player up court. Foul is going to go against Jaworski. Jaworski is going to pick up her first. That's a good foul right there by Jaworski because... I believe that was Jaworski. That's a situation right there where if somebody doesn't commit the foul, Township's got an easy basket. They had a two-on-one. I believe that's who it is. We don't, Jaworski is listed as 42, but I believe that is Jaworski. We don't have a number three in our program. I don't understand why she isn't wearing number seven, Ted. <laughs> Good point. That's converted. They are hot as Blank now has two. 14-9 minute mates. Jaworski swings it back out for Bolger. Bolger drives the lane. Off the hands of Kiesel to be Eastern ball. Well, Washington Township, as you mentioned, red hot early on, and they're going to need all their shooters to remain red hot throughout this game if they want to get the win. Frazier now set things up. Her team trails it by five. Nice play inside for Cyril. She can't get it to fall. Nice box out again by Still. Under three minutes to play first period. Minute Maids lead it by five. Still nice play inside. Beautiful defense by Bolger. This is Cyril. She'll slow it down. Frazier for three. She's fouled. She'll get a three-point attempt from the free throw line. And she's fouled by Blank for Ann. That's her first foul. But to give an indication again of the intensity of this game between these two teams, twice now we've seen three-point shooters go to the line. That's because normally these two teams are so intent defensively that they're just overexerting themselves a little bit here. Frazier to the free throw line. She will get three. So that's her third point of the afternoon. Frazier comes into this game averaging almost 20 points a game. She now has four. Frazier, of course, has also played field hockey for three years at Eastern. Varsity and lacrosse, too. Four-year varsity basketball player and all-conference and all-group performer in field hockey this year. Doesn't get the last one to fall. Still a three-point lead for Township. 2.35 to play first quarter. Township looking impressive early on. They go inside. Kiesel missed an easy one, grabs the rebound. And she is fouled from behind. So Megan Kiesel goes to the free throw line. Washington Township very aggressive on the boards on both sides so far tonight. They are really going after the basketball. And Kiesel's been in the center of a lot of those rebounds. Unofficially, Frazier picks up her first foul. Kiesel's a junior. She's also a member of the honor roll. Misses that. Her favorite team, Ed, the Minute Maids. Gotta Good like choice. That. Yeah. Good choice. As a team, they're now three for six from the free throw line. I take them over the sixers these days, Ted. Really? Me too. So Kiesel now with five. 15-11 Minute Maids. Nice play inside. Cyril tries to hold it. They're trying to go to Bolger inside, and Still's doing a good job defensively against her. There's Bolger now. Good save by Herring. Inside, Bolger. Good move, Frazier. Good dish off. Bolger for two. Beautiful pass, though, by Frazier. And that's great patience by Eastern. Twice it looked like they were going to force a shot. They smartly pull it out, and they work it to the open player. Minute Maid's lead down to two. Inside to Still. Beautiful block by Bolger. 
Bodies flying everywhere, no foul. We've got a two on two. Frazier can't get it to fall. Bolger grabs the rebound, strong to the hoop. She doesn't get it to fall. Rebounded by Battle East. Stolen away by Cyril. Now a chance for Frazier again. She doesn't get it to fall. Going to go for three and hit it. Kaboom. Frazier now with seven. Well, Arlene Battle East did all she could. She played great defense to get back and get set on the layup attempt. Just simply pulled back out and hit the three. Eastern leads it by one, 16-15, a minute five to play first quarter. Nice play inside, Tennyson a foul. Chance for a three-point play for Jamie Tennyson. Well, Jamie Tennyson has sparked this team early on offensively. She, even with the knee brace, even the fact that she's an outside shooter for the most part, she has been very aggressive on the boards. Cheryl's going to come out of the game, or Herring comes out of the game, excuse me, into the game, Jody Devine is senior. Tennyson to the free throw line with nine points. Now in double digits with ten. Two-point lead now for Washington Township on the three-point play. Frazier right up the lane. Gets a foul outside. Foul before the shot. Maybe still reaching in. Now it's going to go against Blank. That'll be her second. And the Minute Maids are going to pull their first few substitutions of the game. And one thing we talked about, Pat, of course, is that Washington Township, even though they're at less experiences on the varsity level, they're a little deeper than a lot of people give them credit for. Last year, they basically rotated seven, this time a lot deeper on the bench. Nancy Naradkin now in the game for the Minute Maids. Frazier, baseline, nice pass, Cheryl. She doesn't get it to fall, grabs the rebound, good effort. Jaworski doesn't get it to fall. Picked up nicely by Eastern, Frazier swings it to Bolger. Back to Frazier. Frazier drives baseline. Good move. Frazier now with nine. What tremendous quickness on the baseline by Jessica Frazier. That's why she is an all-conference player year in and year out. Tied at 18. 24 seconds to play first quarter. Great game here on Jones Intercable. Glad you're with us. Looks like they may play for the last shot. 13 seconds counting. Five-second violation against the sophomore Eileen Battle East. We'll pick this up now with 10 seconds to play first quarter. Bolger thought about a three, drives the lane, easy layup, and misses it. Rebound back out to Frazier. She has time. She misses it. And that is going to do it for action in the first quarter. We are tied at 18, back with second quarter action after this. Tak Kazaneski, Ed Bacon, back with you here on Jones Intercable Channel 13. A great Olympic American battle today between the Minute Maids of Washington Township and the Lady Vikings of Eastern. There you see your score tied at 18. And keep in mind, Township has not lost a game in the division since 1991. They've won 63 games in a row in the division. Inside, nice play. Reverse it. Trying to get out there is Naradka. Still swings it out nicely for Kiesel. Good fight for the rebound. Eastern comes away with it. And a foul from behind will go against Tennyson. That's her second. Actually, uh, yeah, that is Tennyson. No, that's not Tennyson. Ed, check that. Naradko pick up her first. Well, Township, as you mentioned, with that streak, but it was in jeopardy a couple times this year. The last two games Township has played, 36-34 over a very improved Overbrook Rams team and 36-34 over Cherry Hill East. Bolger, a little too hard, misses it. It'll be Washington Township ball. Interesting, Ted. Again, again, the theme, it seems, for the other teams, the Olympic American, they smell blood this year. They think this is finally going to be the year after being beat up by Township all those years. Yet, you look at the standings, Township's still unbeaten in the conference. That is correct, Ed. They sit at 3-0, and Eastern 2-1. and Inside, nice basket made by Tennyson, who now has 12. Township's lone loss to Edgewood and Nicole Bynum, or Eastern's lone loss, excuse me, to Edgewood and Nicole Bynum. 2018 Township with a two-point lead. Frazier, beautiful swing pass. Open J, that's an air ball. Bolger, nice rebound. Bolger puts it home. Bolger now with six. So tough underneath as Bolger able to wrestle that rebound away. And the combination of her and Frazier just appeared to be unstoppable at the start of the season despite the two losses. Still open underneath, still now with three. 22-20, Minute Maids holding the lead. 6.35 to play in the first half. 
Nice move by Jaworski. Lost the ball and picked up nicely by Naradka. Now Township trying to increase their lead. They lead it by two. Just bring it around the perimeter. Trying to go with it, there's Tennyson. Double dribble. So now the two-point lead for Washington Township here. One thing we've noticed so far in this game is when either one of these teams has started to make a, a little bit of a mini run, you could say, put a couple of baskets together, maybe seem to be in a position to take the momentum away, the other team has come right back, able to get a run on their own. That's why it's been within two, three points throughout much of this game. Now into the game, Jody Devine has that pass knocked away. Here comes Tennyson. Looks like she'll slow it down. Still two-point lead. Nice play inside. Kiesel, she can't get it to fall. That was a big miss. Good hustling effort. Eastern comes away with it. They're going to come up on the fast break. Bolger with Frazier. Frazier all the way. No foul. Bolger grabs the rebound. Bolger, no. We're going to get a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to go Eastern's way. Tracy O'Jenny underneath number 33 with a great defensive play that time. Able to just knock the ball away and up. And as Bolger goes up, she puts up the air ball. Jen Sill and Tracy O'Jenny have both been alternating underneath this year for Washington Township. They've both done a fine job. Eastern trails it by two. Lady Minute Maids have played a great game thus far. 5.25 to play first half. Bolger, kaboom, that's only a two-pointer though. Bolger now with eight. Tied at 22. Good defense by Bolger. Backdoor pass there and converted easily by Kiesel who now has seven. We watched Washington Township earlier in the year and they worked the back door as well as any team in basketball and they continue that today. Bolger misses, that was a two-point try. Walk and a turnover against Eastern. Good aggressive defense again on that backdoor play. I guess Coach Costa might have been watching some Princeton basketball tapes with the way they run that backdoor. Battle East comes in the game. Going out will be Tennyson. She'll get a break. She sits with 12 points. Two-point lead for the Minute Maids. Under five minutes to play first half. That's Basile just running the point guard duties. Naradka having some problems, swings it out for Kiesel. Battle East. Trying to set something up. Again, Alison Basile now, your point guard. She's a junior. Stolen away. Bolger, boy, she was on the end line and got away with that one, too. Easy layup for Bolger, who now has 10. She might have got away with stepping on the end line, but a great play by Bolger, and then tremendous quickness as well. She's a little deceptive with her speed. Tied at 24. Battle East baseline. Easy two points. Her first two. Well, this has been this has been one heck of a basketball game so far. A lot of back and forth action. Both teams executing very well. This is what a game with two teams in first place should be like. Frazier almost gets at the fall. And it, the thing for Washington Township is they're not allowing any second or third shots. Nice pass up for O'Jenny. O'Jenny is fouled before the shot. Well, Tracy O'Jenny, once again, like many of the other Minute Maids we've seen so far tonight, getting open underneath. Township has had the player open. They are challenging Eastern and their size with Linda Bolger down low underneath. And right now, uh, Linda Bolger will take a timeout, but Megan Bolger has had her hands full underneath against these Township uh, centers and forwards who are getting the lob passes. We have 3.50 to play in the first half. Minute Maids lead at 26 24. And of course it's all Nicole Bynum. We've seen her play in the past that she is just a phenomenal player. She's, she plays almost just the way we're looking at Jessica Frazier. Real aggressive. Goes to the basket. Draws the defense. Gets the double team. Either dishes it off or makes the, the basket. And she's getting some help this year from people like Isabel Williams and company. The, the Eagles are getting a little more balanced. Yes, Nicole Bynum is a threat but now with other people putting the ball in the basket we're talking about division contenders and we've talked about Township and Eastern and Township and Eastern. Edgewood is three one in the conference, they're right in the thick of the race as well. To the free throw line, Tracy O'Jenny. She's a sophomore. Yeah, Foul shot so important. As a team, they're now six for nine. So for all the, the doom and gloom, a lot of people predicted for Washington Township, they've won five out of their last six ball games. Their one loss, of course, came at the buzzer, so they've had an impressive streak. 
Tracy also a member of the honor roll. Her favorite player, Ed Lamar Greer. Beautiful rebound, Kiesel now with nine. Megan Kiesel getting on the boards, another spectacular play inside. And so far, Township has won the battle on the boards, especially on the offensive end. Bolger, Frazier. Township's defense has been very impressive, and their rebounding has been extremely impressive. Frazier. Frazier gets a pick, drives the lane. Good pick up, pick and roll, and it's converted nicely on the pick and roll by Sherrill, who has seven. Three-point lead for the Minute Maids. Three minutes, five seconds to play first half. Frazier picks another pocket. Has a trailer, Cyril gets it out to her. Cyril to the hoop and she's fouled. Cyril will go to the free throw line. That's the second time Fraser has just flat out picked the pocket. Yeah, Crothan Caitlin, will pick up her first. Caitlin Crothmo was the victim of that theft that time and just a spectacular play. She is really a, a phenomenal player as everybody on this Vikings team. We mentioned Christian Cyril, her brother, Mike Cyril was just a phenomenal player, graduated last year with Eastern. Sorrell now with eight points. She comes into the game averaging 14.4 points a game. As a team, they're four for five from the free throw line as they miss that one, go four for six. Two point lead Minute Maids, under three minutes to play until the half. Nice play inside, Ojeni. Push off fouls going against Eastern underneath. Appeared to go against Moore, that'll be her first, Jen Moore Sr. Well, that's a very tough foul to take that time, and that was a very close play, but a quick move by Ojeni helped her get to the basket a little quicker, and just enough before Moore could get set. Ojeni goes back to the free throw line. Pretty interesting, though, at her favorite player, Lamar Greer, and her favorite team, Florida State. Interesting mix. <laughs> Not the answer we're used to hearing, but hey. Impressive nonetheless. Goes Pre two for two there from the free throw line. Impressive at the free throw line. The Minute Maids are hitting a lot of their shots at the charity stripe as well early on. 31-27 Minute Maids. 2.45 to play first half. Sherrill's fouled. Now double dribble and the turnover. Interesting call. Well, the eastern side doesn't like it, but it looked like the step came right before the foul, and that counts as a travel. So Township right now has to be just loaded with confidence after a very, very impressive first half early on. Frazier almost stole another one. Crothmel, she converts. Crothmel, her first two. That baseline has been open so far for Washington Township. They're taking advantage of it down low. 33-27. Minute Maids hold the lead. They've led a majority of the game. We're in the first half. 2.25 to play in the first half. Nice play inside. Bolger's tough when they get the ball in there. Forces that one. Good defense by Ojeni. That's knocked out of bounds by Frazier. Well, if Township goes on to win this game, credit so far, Jen Still and Tracy Ojeni underneath. They have really done a number on Megan Bolger. Well, I wish we could keep the shooting percentage of the Minute Maids at. I'll tell you, they've got to be 70% at least in this game. Good save by Ojeni. A lot of that is caused by getting a lot of open shots underneath as well. Three-pointer is off. Crothmel a little bit short. Big rebound from behind by Moore. Double dribble and a turnover. Well, Tad, we know how fired up Eastern was coming into this ball game and how confident they were going into this ball game and with all the talk and all the hype for this one, but... This is a, the first in a long series of big game situations for Eastern, which they have not experienced, and some of these Minute Maids have at least been on the bench for, if not playing in. That five-footer's missed by Kiesel, rebounded nicely by Battle East. Under two minutes to play, first half, 33-27 Minute Maids. Naradka, nice save. Fadeaway shot, that's long. Battle East had it for a second. Went off Eastern's Bolger, it'll still be Washington Township ball. Let's see if the Minute Maids try and swing it back outside, then work it right back in. Oh, Jenny had it. Now they pick it back up again. Nice pass inside. We're going to get a foul inside and a push against Moore. It was a little bit late getting to the ball. Well, again, it wasn't exactly how they drew it up, but Township will take it. They've been getting to the free throw line, and the way these two teams are playing defense is very aggressive style. I think free throws are going to be a big part of this game down the stretch. They are in the one and one, so Battle East will go to the free throw line. They are eight for 11 as a team from the free throw line. Battle East is sophomore. Makes her first. 
She's another member of the honor roll. Her favorite team, the Sixers, and her favorite player, Ed, Jerry Stackhouse. Misses her second. Township comes away with the boy. Everything going Township's way thus far. They are playing extremely well. Backdoor pass. Ojeni spins around and puts it home. Beautiful move by Ojeni, who now has five. Ojeni left Kristen Sherrill dizzy, spun her around and cut to the basket. Nine-point lead, Minute Maids. The crowd starting to get into it. They can smell the upset. Three-pointer by Fraser, no good. Foul from behind against Jaworski. Well, Tad, in the eyes of most South Jersey quote-unquote experts, in the eyes of if you go by the rankings, uh, yes, this would be an upset if Township wins, but I don't think the Minimates look at it that way. Again, they're on their home court. They're the defending champs. They have won 63 conference games in a row. I don't think they consider themselves the underdog in this one. Caitlin Crothmel, the free throw line. Her favorite player, Carolyn Blank, and her favorite team, the Minimates. Misses her first. Big rebound underneath. Beautiful play by Ojeni, who now has seven. Township is killing Eastern on the offensive glass, especially on missed free throw attempts. Under a minute to play first half. 11-point lead and three seconds in the lane against Eastern. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was a double wow. I mean, I'm really surprised here, Ed. The Minute Maids are playing an outstanding game this afternoon. They still have, of course, one half and one minute to go, but this is as poised, I think, as Donna Costa would want her team to be in a situation like this. Inbounding, it'll be Kiesel. She's having her problems. It's tipped. They get it back to Kiesel. We have 55 seconds in the first half. 11-point lead for Washington Township. They look the double team on the outside. Good move by it was Naradka. 40 seconds and counting, first half. Battleese almost has her pocket pick. Now Bolger's going to be called for a push-off. A tough foul against Megan. That'll be unofficially her second foul. Boy, that puts him in the penalty, too, Ed. That's the 10th team foul. And Megan Bolger looked like she was on her way to an easy layup, but apparently there was a foul in there somewhere. At least that's what they call the officials. And now again, Township can take advantage of the line. They are 9 for 14 from the free throw line as a team. As they convert that one. They are a team possessed right now in this first half. Battle East now with 4. Tennyson leads the team with 12. It's a 12 point lead. Make it a 13 point lead. Very impressive display by the Minute Maids. They lead it by 13. 35 seconds in the first half. Defense! Defense! Nice play inside for Bolger. Bolger, hard off the glass. I think Bolger's been forcing a couple of these, Ed. And as the lead grows for Township, every shot becomes that much more critical, even though it's late still in the first half. Eastern feels like they have to press a little more, and every shot is that much more important. 15 seconds, first half, in and out. Boy, that would have hurt Eastern if Kiesel could have put that one home. Under 10 seconds, Fraser for three, no. Almost grabbing it there with Bakanowski. Can't get it. We have 4.6 to play first half. A lot of four shots, as you mentioned, Tad, by Eastern, including that last three-point miss. Final 4.6 in the first half. They can get this off in time. This will be Battle East. Oh, Jenny, will it count? No, she missed it anyway. Washington Township playing possessed. They lead it 40 to 27. We're halfway through this one. We'll be back with second half action. Right? Ed Bankin and Tad Kazaneski back here at Washington Township. 40 to 27. Minute Maids on top after one half. A very impressive first half by Township. Now we quickly have a foul called against Jessica Frazier. Interesting to note, Tad, the last game we did here, Washington Township scored a total of 41 points. They already have 40 tonight. They're playing extremely well. This is as good as I've seen the Minute Maids play over the years. So they're playing real solid as a team. Good defense and great rebounding. In fact, the last two games, Washington Township had only scored 36 points. It was enough for a victory. But Township has just been absolutely on fire. And now they try to work it inside. Kiesel triple teamed and a foul called inside. It's her third foul at against Mavreen Herring's going to pick that one up. And if you're the Eastern Vikings, you have to be very frustrated the way this first half is going. Again, we saw them. We saw the look on their faces when they came in. They came in all fired up, maybe just a little overconfident, maybe a little too hyped up because Township is 
has kind of re regained authority as far as the conference goes so far in this game. It's been the defense, too, for Washington Towns. Great job there, and then the rebounding has been unbelievable. Blank sends it back up top to Jen Still, who had an excellent first half defensively. Sends one back outside to Blank. Nice move and kicks it back up top to Kiesel. And all Washington Township wants to do, Ed, here is get a good shot. Don't force anything. Just get a good shot. They tried, and it was good defense by Eastern and a foul called against Washington Township. Kristen Chereau with that steal. Tennyson there is going to pick up her second, Ed. Now, this is going to be interesting to see how Eastern reacts offensively because they've been forcing a lot of balls, especially in that second quarter. They, they're only down 13. There's a long way to go. 40 to 27, Washington Township on top in this battle of the Olympic American powers. This is Frazier, dribble drive, gives it up, and now is in trouble. Doesn't get any help, sends one back up top to Baranowski. Now they send it back outside again. Frazier feeds one inside. Chereau can't get it. It goes out of bounds, and it is Washington Township ball. Eastern is trying to get the ball inside to Bolger, and Bolger was open once or twice, but they just were not able to get it to him. Great defense by the Minute Maids. Still a 13-point lead for Washington Township. Lob inside, Kiesel can't get it, but Battle East gobbles it up along the corner. Nice lob the other way, just knocked away at the last second by Sherrill. Great call by the officials that went off the hands of Still. Eastern with another chance. Eastern's had a couple of chances, and again, you got the feeling in that first half when they did have their trips down the court, when Township was going on that run, they were kind of forcing things a little bit. Frazier swings one back up top to Megan Bulger, who drives, fires, no good. Battle East with a strong rebound inside. And that's what I was talking about. Megan's an outstanding player, but I think she's feeling the pressure. She really forced that shot there, Ed. Blank fires, or lobs one rather, looked like a shot. It was kind of a half pass, half shot, and it's taken away again by the Vikings. Third turnover for Township in the third quarter. Bulger rejected inside by Kiesel. What a block by Megan Kiesel. Now they work it inside again. The shot, no good as Cheryl, Cheryl goes up with a foul called. It's clear that Eastern strategy is to get the ball inside for Bulger. What Bulger has to do is get good position, square her shoulders to the basket, and then take a good shot. She's thrown a lot of off-balance shots up out of frustration. Two minutes gone by in this third quarter, and the score remains the same as it did at the end of the first half. 40 to 27 as Bulger misses the three. Battle East battling for the rebound. It goes out of bounds. Washington Township ball. That's been the difference in the game, the rebounding. Ed. The Minute Maids are boxing out tremendously. They're doing a textbook on boxing out. Now Tennyson will try and get something set up for Washington Township as Blank now has it in the corner. Gets the pick from Kiesel, takes the lob pass and return and lays it in. Beautiful play. That's a beautiful pick and roll done by Washington Township. Extremely well done. Frazier sends one back up top to Herring. They feed one inside, take it away again by Washington Township. Tennyson at the top, watched by Frazier. Now Battle East looking to drive. Nice move by Battle East. Now swings one back up top to Tennyson. Tennyson fires the jumper. That's good. Everything falling for Washington Township. Looks like it's going to be Washington Township's night, Ed. They just can do nothing wrong. A 17-point lead for the Minute Maids. Frazier down the baseline, floats it in. It's amazing, Ed. Nobody picked her up. Nobody touched her. And here's a break for Eastern, Ed. That might have been what Eastern needed to get themselves mentally in the game. This is what Washington Township has to avoid right now with a 15-point lead is mental mistakes like that. If Bulger gets hot, look out, Ed. And Bulger takes the shot. Again, no good. Bulger has been ice cold the entire night as Township has burned down on her down low. Great defense against her, but you can see there, Ed, she really forced that shot as that one goes out of bounds. That's a forced pass, so Eastern will take over with 4.43 to go in quarter number three. 44-29, Washington Township on top and looking very impressive in doing so. Frazier now swings under the outside of Jaworski. Back up top, it goes to Bulger. Now they work it to the outside. This is Sherrill on the drive. No good. An air ball is picked up by Washington Township, and here comes Tennyson. Tennyson floats one again to Blank. That one goes out of bounds as Bulger knocked it away, and that was a line drive into the crowd. It looks like everybody's okay. Surprised the Minute Maids aren't slowing it down a little bit, walking up the floor. They're letting them come down. You don't have to rush it down the floor. Well, that's, this is the pace that Washington Township has run for the first half, so I guess at least for a little while they're going to stay with it. 
Back door. Live inside. Knocked away. And it goes out of bounds. And the ball belongs to Eastern. Keep, keep in mind that last year, Eastern, as we mentioned, gave Township as tough a game as anybody in the regular season. They were hoping to meet up with Township in the playoffs, but they were beaten in the quarterfinals. Upset, actually, by Cherokee. Fraser outside. That one goes in and out of the hands of Sheru, but she picks it up and sends one back up top to Bolger. Now Frazier has not been given too much room along the baseline as Blank once again is on her. Jaworski will try along that left side. Back up top it goes to Frazier with the move. Feeds one inside. Knocked away and taken away but off the foot of Still. It's Eastern ball. Good defense though. Again, still got her hand on it to knock it away. They're trying to get it into Bolger but as you watch your screen at home, especially from the midcourt camera, watch Bolger 51 and the defense they're playing against her. There's a three-pointer. No good by Frazier but Jaworski gets the long rebound. Outside it goes to Frazier. Frazier will try again along the baseline. Bangs into Kiesel. West Solon traveling call before the contact. So Township takes over. 44-29. It was 40-27 at the start of this third quarter. Frazier feeds one up ahead. And that is Frazier, rather. She lays it up. That was Chereau with the steal. And actually, Chereau was grabbed, but they didn't call the foul. 44-31. 13-point lead for Washington Township. Tennyson pulls up, misses that one badly, goes out of bounds, and some discussion, and it's Eastern, rather, Washington Township ball. And I'm really surprised Washington Township is coming down and shooting the ball as quickly as they are. With a lead like this against a tough team, you spread it out a little bit, look for the best shot you can get. Now they send it back up top. Eileen Battelise. Look to send it back to Croft Mill. It's knocked away. Taken away by the Vikings. Here comes Sherrill. Lob pass up to Frazier, and she will get things set. Frazier open, fires for three. That's good. That makes it a 44-34 game as Linda Bolger's club creeps to within 10. Eastern has stepped up their defense, Ed. They're trapping and getting a lot of turnovers here in the third quarter. Battle East, double team. The ball comes loose. Two bodies go down. Tie up. Possession arrow points the way of Eastern. Well, defense gave Washington Township the lead they have now, and it looks like Eastern's trying to really turn on their trapping defense to get themselves back in the game, and it's starting to work. And they've gotten back in the game in a hurry. So now the Vikings will get set for the inbound as there are a couple substitutions now for Washington Township. Nancy Naratka checks back into the game. Eileen Battelise will get a breather. 44-34, 2.26 to go in quarter number three. Frazier trying to drive again, sends one back outside to Bolger. Inside it goes now. And there's a foul inside. It's going up strong with Sherrill. Look like Tennyson's going to pick up the foul. Ed. That would be her third, but I thought she did a good job of playing defense and fronting there. Just kind of got shortchanged a little bit. Unofficially, that is her third personal foul. So now Kristen Sherrill will go to the line for free throws. And she rattles the first one home, so Eastern gets it back under double digits, 44-35. And they're five for seven as a team from the free throw line. Second free throw is good, and it's an eight-point game, 44-36. Crothwell pushing it up, quickly avoids the double team, and they swing it back out to Tennyson. Ratka swings one back over to the other side to Crothwell. Let's see if Township has a little more patience on this trip as we near the two-minute mark in the third, but Naradka pulls up and puts it in. What a move by Naradka, strong to the hoop. Great, great basket. Back to a 10-point lead for Township, 46-36. Fazer again looking to drive, kicks one back outside, takes the return pass and lays it in. Nice give and go from Bulger to Frazier. Well, Frazier looks like she's going to be the go-to girl and has another turnover against Washington Township, but Frazier has really stepped up her game, Ed. There's a bad pass, and that makes it 46-38. And Washington Township will get set up again. Donna Costa bellowing out the phrase, short passes to her team. Frazier sets one to Bulger along the outside. Who's had a tough afternoon. They work it back up top to Jaworski. Back over it goes to Frazier. 
Now they lob it outside. They look to work it inside. Jaworski kicks it back outside to Bulger. Forces one up. No good. They battle for the rebound. Still in there. Whistle. Traveling call again still. And it's Eastern ball. Beautiful pass by Jaworski under the basket. Bulger had a shot again at the layup. Couldn't bring it home. And Eastern with Bulger not giving up. Ed, that was the big thing. A lot of guys will give up after they miss a layup. She got right on the floor and got the ball back for her team. An eight-point lead for Washington Township. It was 13 at the start of this third quarter. Frazier to Bulger with 1.15 to go in the third. Bulger fires one up. It rolls around and out. It has not been making Bulger's night. And a foul against Eastern. I think that's Bakanowski for Eastern is going to be called over the back end. That would be her first. Now here's where Eastern's got themselves back in the game, Ed, with this pressure defense. And Township has had trouble. They've thrown a couple of long passes away, but they keep it short this time, and Aratka takes it to the right side. Now Krautmill will take it up top. She's pressed by Sherrill as we get down to the one-minute mark in this third quarter. Now this is Tracy O'Jenny into the game. Back up top, it goes to Kiesel. Kiesel having trouble, almost five seconds there as Naratka has it. Guns one inside, nicely shot, no good by Cropville. And the rebound comes away to Easton as Sherrill has it. Jaworski now up top, 35 seconds to go in the third. Vikings coming back in this one. Bob inside to Sherrill, no good, but she is fouled by Tennyson, who I believe has just picked up her fourth. And that could be big for Eastern. Tennyson's the leading scorer for the Minute Maids with 14. Again, unofficially, we have her with four. She is going to come out of the game as she's replaced by Battle East. So that's the first break of the game for Eastern, Ed. So Battle East may have to step up on both ends of the court in this final quarter coming up. And plus this 29.4 here. First free throw is good by Kristen Sherrill. Second one here would get Eastern to within six. They're seven for nine as a team, Ed. Second free throw is no good, and the rebound comes away to Kiesel. 26 seconds to go in the third quarter. Let's see if Township holds for the last shot. Crothwell has it knocked away, taken away, but out of bounds is Bulger at Township Ball. Frazier's uncanny, Ed, with her ability to pick the pocket, reach around, steal the ball away cleanly every time. Uh -oh. Now they try to pass one to Jenny, take it away by Jaworski. 15 seconds to go, let's see if Eastern holds for the last shot. Frazier drives down the paint, kicks it inside to Sherrill who lays it in. Five point game, six seconds to go in the third quarter. There's a near steal again, another steal now by Jaworski. Two seconds, up top jumper, no good, and the third quarter comes to an end. The challengers are making the run, but the champions maintain the lead. 46-41 after three. Stay with us for the fourth quarter. Ed Bank and Tad Kazanowski back at the home of the Olympic Conference champions. As you see, Washington Township, the team that's looking to take the flag away is Eastern, but they trail the champs by five as we start the fourth quarter as Battle East brings it up, and she is pressured heavily, and a foul called. This might go against Bolger. If it is, Ed, that's number three. And it's been the defense of Eastern, Ed. This trapping defense has been very impressive, and Washington Township is having a lot of problems against it. Now blank inbounds to Battle East, and Washington Township will set up as we start the fourth quarter. Tennyson with four fouls is in the game. Up top it goes down to Jen Still looking to drive and gives up the dribble. Back up top to Ogeny. Outside it goes Battle East. Thought about driving, almost had her pocket pick, but a foul call against Bulger. That's number four. Unofficially we do have her with the four fouls. It's going to be interesting to see how they play with Bulger with four fouls because Eastern at this point can't afford to lose her. They're going to let her stay in the game, Ed, with 7.33 to play. So both coaches going with starters who have four fouls. Now I think they might make a substitution on the Eastern side, Ted. Are they saying five fouls now? She may have fouled out, Ed. We had her again unofficially with four. We'll have to double check that. I believe she still only has four fouls. 
Losing it out of bounds is Blank, and it's Eastern ball, and the Vikings now on a run here. They were down by 12 early in the third quarter. Now we've just gotten confirmation that was Bulger's fifth foul, so she is fouled out of the game with nearly a whole quarter to go. Jaworski with the jumper, that's an air ball, rebound inside, up and good by Shirell, and it's a three-point game. Beautiful pass by Jaworski, Solar open right under the basket, that's the way you program it. <laughs> Going deep down the middle. Tennyson now to the outside. Having trouble with that Eastern defense, which again has been the difference. Township needs a basket here to break the Eastern run. Blank has it along the right baseline. Bounces one back up top. Nice pass inside the battle. She lays it in. Eastern has a tendency in this man-to-man -man defense not to watch their player. They're playing defensively. They tend to watch the ball, and they're getting beat on that back door. 48-43. Three-pointer is good by Frazier. A big shot by Jen Frazier to cut it to two. Well, if Eastern's going to beat you as we get the timeout. Wise timeout taken by Jen Still. And Jen Frazier who has had to deal with three years of being swept by Washington Township, hits a big bucket right there. She went over and said something to the official right in front of us. And if Eastern's going to win right now with Bolger out of the game, it's going to have to be Frazier doing it. That was a money shot, no question about it. Ted, we put this game on the schedule at the beginning of the year, and originally a lot of people thought, well, it'd be a close game. Then the opinion of many was, well, it's Eastern's turn. It's Eastern's turn this year. This has been as good a ball game as we have seen all season long. And it's been a defensive clinic. In the first half, Washington Township, a great job with their defense. Eastern changed things around, went to the trapping defense in the second half, getting a lot of turner, was getting themselves back in the game. I think it was very important there before the timeout that Washington Township did get that two points there because they were really strong struggling looking for a bucket. Minder, Washington Township has another tough game coming up on Tuesday. They will take on those Edgewood Eagles here in Washington Township. Edgewood again at seven and three. And that is also a big game in the Olympic Conference race. Still looking for help and gets it into blank. The press by Eastern, but Township breaks it as Tennyson gets it across the line. Ooh, pass inside to Ojeni. Now she has it along the baseline. Bounces one to Battle East, and she is grabbed inside by Jaworski. And that is Jaworski's third. Well, again, they're having problems underneath the basket in back door. Jaworski there with the hack to cause the foul. So Township with a two-point lead will inbound. And this is where Washington Township gets hurt. There's the quick pass inside. Oh, Jenny has it. And once again, Township stretches their lead. It's 50 to 46. And a turnover as they throw it away looking for Frazier. I was just about to say, this is where Washington Township gets hurt with not having a go-to girl or a scorer. They don't have somebody they can count on, so the team has to come together and create the opportunity. Now, once again, the press by Eastern, and Township is able to get the inbounds in as Tennyson loses it as she tries to dribble through a double team. Great job by Frazier to maintain possession. Frazier fires for three around the rim. No good. Frazier was hit as she went to the deck, and it comes back up top. Now, look to set it up again. Frazier again down the paint, scoops it up. No good, and Jen still has the rebound. Here comes Township on the run as Blank brings it up. Blank tries to go baseline, double team, and she traveled. Jen Fraser, though, down the other end of the floor, Ed, Jessica did a great move and a scoop shot. Probably should have drew the foul there. The referee elected not to call it, and that was just a beautiful move to the hoop. It's going to be all Jessica here now. She can single-handedly carry Eastern on her back. And you mentioned it, Tad, with Kiesel out. Jessica Frazier is taking it upon herself to try and single-handedly give Eastern the victory here, but instead she swings it back up top to Jaworski. Back it goes to Jessica Frazier. Now they're working up top. Inside it goes to Jaworski. She floats it up. No good. Rebound Sherrill. No good. A man scramble in the middle. And finally, Jen still has the rebound. Jessica had a shot there to put that in. Just missed it. Township holding on, Ed. There's a near steal. It's still loose. And Jessica Frazier tries to Ooh. get the steal. And she goes down. And we'll have a foul against Jen still. Boy, Jessica Frazier paid the price that time. And still rolled all over the top of her. And that defense for Eastern, rarely has Washington Township in this third and fourth quarter been able to get the ball into the paint. Six team fouls now for Eastern, five for the Minute Maids as we hit the five-minute mark in the fourth. 
Three pointer is good by Frazier and it's 50 to 49. Got to get in her face, Ed. She's the only one that can stick it for Eastern. Township's lead is down to one. Tennyson inside to Ojeni, out of bounds, still Washington Township ball. You got to get somebody out on Frazier, Ed. You got to keep her from shooting the three-pointer. And then when she drives the lane, somebody, one of the teammates, has to pick her up. She has hit two huge shots in this fourth quarter. Pass over the head of Jen Sill, out of bounds. And the Vikings will have a chance to take the lead. And I just saw a big smile for Frazier there. She knows this game is hers to win. And this is Jessica Frazier bringing it up top for Eastern. Pass almost stolen. Jaworski fires for three. That's short. It rolls out of bounds. Saved nicely by Eastern. Back up top. It goes out of Frazier. Back into Sherrill. She fires the fadeaway. It's good. And Eastern takes the lead. 51 to 50. And they're going nuts on the Eastern sideline as Township brings the ball up. 4.08 to go in the fourth. Lag, nice job to save it. Now fires along the baseline, bounces around, no good. Tipped, and Jen still takes it away. She fires, that's good. Jen still looking like Charles Barkley took that one away and brought it home. 52-51, Township back on top. 3.45 to go in the fourth. Joni Devine in the game feeds one inside. Cheryl misses the layup and a foul called inside. It will go, it looks like, against the Vikings. Stills just playing a tremendous game underneath. She is playing like Charles Barkley. She's got the 34 on out there. She is playing one heck of a game. And now there's a whistle. Boy, this has been a game that a fans here have really enjoyed. It's going back and forth. and. Boy, Eastern looked dead and buried, and, and Township really had a chance to knock him out in the third quarter if it hadn't been for a few turnovers. You really have to credit Eastern, then. They could have died in that, at halftime. They came out, changed the defense, trapped, got some steals, and have made it a great game. And now a one-and-one, one, as that is the seventh team foul for Eastern, so Jen still to the line for a very important free throw. As a team, they're 11 for 16. And now 12 for 17 as she hits the first one. 53-51, Township up by two. Second free throw is good. Still calmly nails two free throws, and it's 54-51. 3.35 to go in the fourth. Boy, a big pick up top as they tried to free Frazier along the baseline. They send it back up to Devine, back to Jaworski along the left side. Up top it goes now to Frazier. Frazier looking to go down the paint, kicks it back outside. They work it back up top now. Now Jaworski along the left side. They're looking to feed it inside to Sherrill. Instead, Jessica Frazier will take it up top. Goes up the dribble and works it back up top. And now some patience by Eastern as we hit the 305 mark. They work it back up top to Sherrill. Quick give and go for Jaworski to Sherrill and traveling call inside. So Township takes over with three minutes left and a three-point lead. We'll see the press again by Eastern. That's what's gotten them back into this game is their defense. Ooh, near steal, and it's taken by Naratka. Naratka looking to dribble it up. Guns one to the outside of Kiesel. Back up top, it goes to Tennyson with 2.50 to go. Tennyson throws it away. It's loose on the floor, out of bounds. And let's see who they're going to give it to. Washington Township. Frazier again, though. Another pocket pick. Almost got the turnover. And Jessica Frazier's been all over the place in the second half. 2.42 to go. Nancy Naratka up top. Gets a nice pick and gets free along the baseline momentarily, but Eastern switches nicely, so they go back up top to Tennyson. Tennyson in a crowd, kicks one back outside to Battle East, puts it down the baseline, scoops it up short, Naratka battles for the rebound and has it. Bounces it back outside to Battle East and up top to Tennyson. Naratka in the corner with a nice move, crosses one to Still, feeds one to Battle East, guns one inside and a foul call inside against Bankowski. Tough one against Bakanowski. She just got there a step late, but I was really impressed there by Battelise, who drove baseline. She's only a sophomore, went for the reverse layup, and almost made it. 
So Bankanowski picks up her second. And Kiesel to the free throw line. Misses the front end of the one and one. And Eastern takes over and they quickly work it up ahead. This is Jessica Frazier, thought about three. Lobs one inside, Sherrill turns and lays it in. And it's back to a one point game. Two minutes to go, 54-53 and that one's thrown away. And Eastern takes over. Unfortunately, that last time down the floor and the man-to-man -man defense still turned her back to the ball, lost her man. That's why you got the easy layup. You know Frazier wants this one here, Ed. She's let's, gonna take it. Let's see if Bankanowski does get it to her. She does. Sherrill back up top, Jaworski. Defense! Thought about shooting, but wisely pulls it out and will let Frazier take the ball. Defense! Defense! 145 to go. Sherrill fires up top, it's good! Another big shot by Kristen. Sherrill and Eastern is back up by one. 135 to go. Here comes the press again. They work it up ahead to Tracy O'Jenny. 128 to go. Into the corner, it goes out of battle. Elise, pass inside to Kiesel, but Ooh. she is fouled. Kiesel almost had an easy layup, lost it, but still drew the foul. That could be a big play in this game. Sherrill almost had the steal. Township gets the break. It's gonna send Kiesel to the line. One foul shot to tie, two to take the lead. She will get two here. She was fouled in the act of shooting. 1.23 to go. They're 13 for 19 as a team. And we're tied, and why not the way this one's going? Ooh. Misses the second one, and Eastern has the rebound with 1.20 to go in a tie game at 55, and here comes Jessica Frazier. Sherrill's come up big in this fourth quarter, Ed. Keep an eye on her. Frazier has it up top now as they look to work for a good shot. Jaworski along the left side. Back it goes to Frazier. Frazier down the baseline. She lays it in with under a minute to go. 57-55, Eastern back on top. Major league move by the senior. Now you can't panic if you're Washington Township. Tennyson swings one back outside in Aratka. 46 seconds to go. Up top it goes to Kiesel, looking inside for Ojeni, can't find her, sends one back to Naratka. Naratka along the baseline, back to Ojeni. Tennyson with 32 seconds to go. Battle East with the spin, the shot around, no good, they tip for the rebound, and it's Washington Township ball. Still's gonna, or actually Ojeni Ed is gonna go to the free throw line with the chance to tie it. Coach Costa there, holding her breath, Ed. 27.5 seconds to go. And a timeout taken by Eastern. 57-55, the Vikings have taken the lead. And guess who has stepped up for Eastern in the big game? Yep, Miss Frazier, we told you in the stand-up, she would be the one to go to, and she really has. She has 28 points, but we kind of overlooked Kristen Sherrill, a sophomore who has 21, and most of those points had came in the fourth quarter, so she has been a big factor in this game as well, but Frazier with her penetration draws the defense, and sherrill has been there and made some big shots. Now, Jenny will go to the line here for two, and if you're Eastern right now, you have to think at this moment you're in a no-lose situation because if Jenny makes both, Eastern still has a chance to win with 27 and a half to go. If she doesn't make both, then they get the ball back and are in control with a one-point or a two-point lead. And Township has had their chance with some foul shots here in the fourth quarter. Their percentage has dropped. They're now 14 for 21 in the game, but they've missed a few here in the fourth quarter. I'm sure Donna Costa just said in the huddle, okay, after Tracy hits her two free throws, this is what we're going to do, the old confidence yep. boost. Well, it's either going to be Sherrill number 23 or Frazier 24 as they come down the floor, Ed. Tracy O'Jenny, first of all, has to take care of business at the free throw line. She needs two to tie. And she misses the first free throw. Now they're going to set their defense, and you may see a foul early for Washington Township if Frazier doesn't get it. 
Keep in mind, Tatchup has been very good on the boards off missed free throws in case Ojeni misses, but she doesn't. One point lead for Eastern. Let's see if Tatchup goes for the quick foul. They work it inside. They do not want to put Frazier at the free throw line. Tatchup needs a foul here with 20 seconds to go. Frazier's got the ball. They may have to now send her to the foul. line. Now the vibe back to Frazier, and finally she is grabbed heavily by Naratka. And with the look on Jessica Frazier, you know she wants to go to the free throw line in this situation. And I can tell you, Coach Costas theory right there in the huddle was foul anybody but Frazier. Frazier dribbled it all the way down the court. They had about a split second to foul. They couldn't do it. Now Frazier, if you're Eastern, is the lady you want at the foul line. And now we get a whistle. And they're going to say only 16 fouls against Township, so they will not send her to the free throw line with 14.7 seconds to go. Frazier will have to be fouled or else she will hold the ball for the final 14. Eight seconds left. Now she loses the ball. Naratka's got it. Whistle yeah. and traveling call against Township. Tough call there. You got to foul. As soon as it gets inbounded, Costa wants a timeout. Washington Township takes a timeout, and if only, if only, they could have called a timeout when they were down on the floor, they would have had possession. Township had their chance at, they got the big steal they wanted. Unfortunately, they got the traveling call against them. Now, what you're gonna have to do if you're Township, you're gonna have to deny the inbound ball to Frazier. You double team her here. Don't let her get the ball. As soon as somebody else gets it, you foul immediately. The township will probably have to put Frazier at the line. Again, just like you said, the strategy for Donna Costa was foul anybody but Frazier, but Linda Bolger countered by saying, get the ball to Jessica Frazier, and Jessica, hold it until you are fouled. Well, that's what you're going to do if you're Township here. This is the most important part of this play here. You don't want the ball to go into Frazier. You double team her. You do whatever you can to keep her from receiving this ball, and Eastern will set up a play so Frazier gets it. Keep in mind the other big factor, time. We're down to 5.6. Frazier's got it. Four seconds. They have to foul her. They can't get to her. They finally do with point eight to go. Well, they just got it with enough time, and that'll probably be enough. I believe we got a flagrant foul here, too, Ed, so the game is over. If that is a flagrant foul, this one will end because Frazier will go to the line for two, and Easter will maintain possession. As a team, Ed, Eastern 7 for 10 from the free throw line. It is a two-shot foul, so Eastern apparently on their way to ending Township's 63-game conference winning streak. As the first free throw is good, and for Eastern, who better to finish it off? Look at the look on her face at the free throw line. It's excitement and exhaustion, I think, at the same time. I don't know what else Washington Township can do here, Ed. She's going to get one more free throw. They called the flag, yeah, flagrant foul, easy for me to say now. So Eastern's going to get the ball back. The only thing you can do is try and foul, but with point eight, I mean, you're really, really in desperation land now. What Township is thinking with that point eight is if she misses or makes her second free throw on the inbound, then Township would have to either foul or steal immediately. All this with point eight to go and then still get a shot up for your... Talking the longest of long odds. You can see Eastern won't even put any of their young ladies under the basket. They're all going to drop back just to ensure the victory here. But that young lady, the Fraser, has really come to play. And she misses the second one, so it's 58-56. But again, Eastern's ball, they will inbound right in front of us. There's the inbound, and that's it. The streak is over at Washington Township. Nobody can fault Washington Township for their effort today, but in the end, Jessica Frazier simply took over this game. Well, Frazier in combination of Cyril, let's not look over Cyril who had 21, Frazier with 27, but Frazier with the big foul shots at the end, and Cyril hit some big buckets at the end, and who would have thought when fouling out with Bolger that they would be able to win this game? I am really surprised the way Eastern picked it up when Bolger came out. We'll take a break, 58-56.
Thank you very much, Sam. Well, as good a game as you would expect between two teams fighting for conference supremacy. Eastern wins by two, 58-56. They end Township's 63-game conference winning streak. Joining us, the player of the game, without question, Jessica Fraser. Jessica, first of all, in that first half, Township got off to that great start. Is the case maybe your team came in a little overhyped for this game? I think we definitely did. We were. It was nervous and hype all together. Um, we knew that play that they keep doing right the layup shot and I don't know why our heads weren't in the first half and that's what happened they pulled away with the lead in the second half one thing that seemed to turn things around was the way you guys put the press on defensively was that the turning point for you I think it definitely was our bench did a great job they came in and we played we all played health defense and that's what really helped us that's what won the game at halftime, of course, you're down by 13, and you're playing in a gym where, of course, you look around and see all these Olympic Conference banners in the last couple of years. Anything said by you or by the coach to kind of get you calmed down and get you focused for the second half? Um, definitely. We've had those, our seniors have all been starting since our freshman year, and we've been losing to this team for the last three years, and we had too much heart and determination to lose the game, so she told us that if we didn't, she made us realize that if we didn't pull this one out, we weren't going to win conference or anything, so we picked it up. Not just obviously to give you a lead in the conference, but what does this game do confidence-wise? Is this maybe the one that, that at least early on gets Eastern over the hump? Yes, definitely, because especially Township, I mean, they're a great team, and we've, we've been a rival ever since our freshman year, and this was, this was a good game this year. I'm excited. Finally, uh, we remember we were talking about last year in the regular season, you played Township as tough as anybody did in the regular season. Uh, was this, I guess, almost a feeling of after four years, or in your case, three, going into this year, I guess a, a feeling of relief to finally get, especially on the home court, to pull one out? Yes, definitely, especially being here in our first game for the next game that, at our home court. That's going to be, I can't wait. Well, Jessica Fraser, congratulations. It was a great game between two great teams. Eastern wins by two. Let's send it back to Tad for some final thoughts. Well, for Ed Banken and the rest of the crew, I am Tad Kazaneski. Have a great evening, everybody. Once again, your final score, Eastern wins it 58 to 56.